Losing someone can be one of the most difficult things people have to go through during their life. We honour the dead by holding funerals, and many different cultures have different versions. In today's video, we take a look at how and when humans started honouring the dead, and also the ideas and practices that were prepared before death. Enjoy. Archaeological evidence shows that 130,000 years ago, Neanderthals practiced the burying of dead. The dead during this era were buried along with tools and bones, and were also buried in holes dug into the ground. It is thought that the practice began as a religious ritual that may have resulted from the concern over what happens to people after death. At Kasfa in Israel, about 115,000 years ago, there is evidence of the deliberate burial and positioning of bodies in caves. In one example, the left hand of a buried child had been placed on a deer's skull, an antlers positioned on the child's neck. A variety of grave goods were present at the site, including the mandible of a wild boar placed in the arms of one of the skeletons. Neanderthal burials have also been found in southern France, the northern Balkans, Syria and Central Asia. In Atapurica, which is in Spain, 200,000 years ago, there is evidence of the intentional placement or grouping of bodies in caves. At Cima de los Jesos, translated to the Pit of Bones, the remains of more than 32 individuals of the species Homo heidelbergensis have been recovered. There is no evidence that these hominids lived in the caves, and only the bones of teenagers and young adults have been found, indicating that the bones may have been placed intentionally here. Humans are not the only species to bury their dead. Chimpanzees and elephants are known to throw leaves and branches over fallen members of their family. In 2013, a viral video caught a dog burying a dead puppy by pushing sand with its own nose. It is assumed, however, that this was an instinct to bury food. In Israel, a buried woman with her hand resting on a puppy was found, dating to around 12,000 years ago. At another site in Israel, a man was found with two small dogs, about 13,000 years old. It is likely that these dogs were beloved companions, sacrifices, or acted as a guide into the spirit world. Fumary cannibalism is the practice of eating the remains. This may be done for many reasons, for example, to absorb their strength, or to spiritually close the circle by reabsorbing their life into the family or clan, or maybe to annihilate an enemy. The Yanamani have the practice of cremating the remains and then eating the ashes with banana paste. Other alternatives to burials are cremation, sky burials, gibbetin, which was used with the death of criminals, and burial at sea, which seen bodies placed into the ocean or lakes where they sunk to the bottom, or alternatively, bodies were placed in boats and set alight and left to sail down the river. There are many different places people are buried. Many of us are familiar with graveyards. Graveyards are a place where people are honored by being buried under a decorated tombstone, which features their name and what they were known and loved for. We can also see many war memorials around Western countries honoring soldiers, mostly from the First and Second World Wars, that had fallen in battle Beautiful statues, shrines, and plants are often used to mark graves. Embalming is the practice of preserving a body against decay and is used in many different cultures. Mummification is a more extensive method of embalming, further delaying the decay process. Until recently, it was believed that the earliest ancient Egyptian mummies were created naturally due to the environment in which they were buried. However, Egypt on the 21st of January 2023 announced a series of new archaeological discoveries found in the Saqqara necropolis south of Cairo, including a mummy said to be 4,300 years old. This mummy may be the oldest and most complete mummy found in Egypt to date. The mummy is believed to have belonged to a man named Hakashipis. It was covered in layers of gold and concealed within a large limestone sarcophagus, just as the ancient Egyptians left it. Egyptians had long observed that bodies interred in graves without direct contact with the drying sands tended to decompose and they wanted to prevent this for religious reasons. Without a physical body to which it could return, they believed the car, which is a sort of soul essence, could not partake in food offerings brought to the ceremony, 
and was instead left to roam the world of the living as a harmful spirit. If you are interested on how the ancient Egyptians carried out the mummification process, then I have a video here that goes into more detail. Many cultures and people both in the present and throughout history believe that there is a life after death, but the ancient Egyptians demonstrated this more than most. They regarded death as a temporary interruption rather than the end of life. To ensure the continuity of life after death, they paid homage to the gods, both during and after their life on earth. They did this by preparing items of valuable personal property and placing them in the tomb, which the ancient Egyptians believed would be used and enjoyed in the afterlife. To ensure an everlasting afterlife, it was essential that both the structure and contents of the tomb remained intact. Egyptians even built giant monuments for burial, such as the Great Pyramids of Giza, built by pharaohs Khufu, Khafre and Menkuri. Burying the dead with valuable possessions wasn't just an Egyptian thing. Viking culture also involved burial or cremation with valuables, as well as burying treasures before death as an offering to the gods. Death was also influential in the way Vikings lived, as they believed that when men died in battle, the war god Odin gathered chosen slain warriors and sent them to his mythical hall called Valhalla. It was a warrior's paradise, built with spear shafts and roofed with shields. This led to them idolising a warrior culture and making them very skilled fighters. It was a requirement that all male Vikings had completed weapons training so they could defend their villages during attacks. Thanks for watching. There is so much more information about how our ancestors honoured the dead, so I encourage you to read more. If you liked this video and wish to see more, then please consider liking and subscribing. It really goes a long way to help the channel grow. Also, if you have any suggestions for future videos or series, then please leave a comment below. Thank you.